Hey guys, in this video I wanted to show you one of the cool things Bifaco 8 times B plus C can do when it's paired with a sequencer. Everything you're hearing right now is all derived from one 8 step sequencer using Bifaco 8 times B plus C to derive variations from it. This technique can really augment any basic sequencer, but the simpler, the better in my opinion. Let's get into it. First, let's go over the basic functions of the A times B plus C. It's rather simple. Input A is multiplied by input B, which gets input C added to it. This makes B a simple attenuverter, which just scales and inverts the incoming voltage by A, and C an offset, which just offsets or adds and subtracts the voltage from A. This module has two of these ABC chains, so double the fun. Here, let's check it out on the scope. As you can see, B can scale the voltage up, and scale it back down, then invert it, and scale it again. Very useful for a variety of applications. And here with C, we can move it up, adding voltage, or we can move it down, subtracting voltage. Very simple. And the great thing about this module is that both B and C are voltage controllable. This will be very important um, for pairing it with a sequencer. Alright, now let's build the patch. All you'll need is any sequencer, an unquantized 8 step one will do in this case, an A times B plus C module, and a quantizer. My, the voice module I'm using here is just immutable instruments rings, very easy to use. Now, let's send the trigger from the sequencer to the strum input on the resonator, or rings. Now, let's send the out of the sequencer, the out of these knobs here, into A times B plus C in the A input. Then take out one, put it into the quantizer, and then the out of the quantizer into the volt per octave of the resonator. Now we're hearing a sequence, but it's important to note that the B knob is scaling the voltage here. So if I turn it down, the notes being picked from are now from a smaller range. If I take it down all the way to zero, just get one note because the scale is so small it can only pick from one note even though the knobs are in different positions scale it back up slowly get more notes added in as the scale increases until all the way we get very high notes right at the edge here because the scale is so high we can also invert it so we can totally invert our sequence here, which is very fun. It's very low. Alright, now the offset. All the offset does is take that whole sequence with the scale on it, determined by the B level, and just move it up or down. So we can move it up. We get the same same sequence, the same scale, just moved up. Move down. Same thing, move down. This is already really fun. I mean, this is already super fun to just mess around with the knobs on your own. It's a very performance-oriented module, but we can also voltage control it. So let's try that. I'll use this LFO right over here to control the B level. We get a much more complex sequence now. And let's have this random module right over here, uh, the stepped output control the sea level. Let's 
sequence is way more complicated than what we initially had. And if you get more complex uh, modulation sources, and if you fine tune them, you can get really interesting sequences out of this. Also, you might want to mess around with if you if your LFOs do this, going to unipolar mode or bipolar mode, which would increase the range of how much it goes up and down. Same thing with uh, the random has unipolar and bipolar mode. Very cool. Well, that's all I have. It's a very quick tip, very fun. You know, getting stuff like the A times B plus C instead of a very complex, expensive sequencer, and just pairing that module with a very simple 8-step, 16-step sequencer is, is very cost-effective in hardware, and also really fun. Um, it's very fun to mess around with the knobs of the B and C level and just derive a bunch of sequences out of that that are all musically viable. Thanks for watching, and um, hopefully I'll have more videos up in the future on stuff like this. Thanks.